But yeah, Kelsey, Maryland's bearing down. They're, they're within two points. And uh, you're up by 18. <coughs> what happened with that spurt? Because it was it was looked like NBA. Uh, yeah, it did. Um, teams make runs. Uh, we're playing in a, a Big Ten tournament. Um, you know, we were... We knew things would happen. Uh, we didn't know at what point it would, but we, we prepared and we stayed focused and we dialed in for the rest of the 40 minutes. Uh, what does this mean to you, uh, the team going back to back with the Big Ten regular season and tournament titles? Uh, it feels good. Um, we've, uh, we've been through so much as a team, as a program. So um, to get something, take home some hardware, um, it just feels good. Um, we don't know when it's going to settle in as far as emotions is concerned, but um, we're going to take every bit of this and we're going to utilize it and have fun with it for as long as we can. And, and Stephanie, I thought this team played really, I won't say angry, but so hard. It, it was almost like <coughs> you, you knew what you wanted and weren't going to let it go. Yes, sir. Um, this is what you grind for. This is what off seasons for. This is what preseasons for. And day in, day out, coming into practice, playing hard, executing offensively and defensively. And so, like Kelsey said, we wanted to bring the hardware back to Columbus. And so we had the scratch, fight, and claw through it. And um, we did that and executed and came out with the win. Wene, you had uh, eight second quarter points, I think. And, you know, Maryland as a team had nine. Uh, <laughs> Were you just feeling it in the in the second quarter? It, it was on it was on both sides of the ball too. Uh, honestly, I think it just started on defense. Uh, just trying to bring a lot of energy on the, on that side of the court or whatever, and uh, just trying to bring some energy and effort to our team. And everybody, all five of us, played hard, and uh, just trying to bring something to the table. Yeah, and, and last time you played Maryland, you guys lost by thirty, and <laughs> you know you you couldn't you couldn't seem to stop them offensively. And this time you're down one of your better defensive players in Asia. What what was different? Defensively, I mean, well, you know, Big Ten is a, a great conference and uh, it's a lot of great teams. But, uh, you know, we learned from that game. Uh, we can't dwell on it. And uh, we made sure that this time it was going to be a different outcome. And that's what we worked on. And the past few weeks we've been working really hard defensively, uh, offensively, and just try to stick together as a team. Stephanie, what does it mean for you to get this championship so close to your hometown? True honor, true blessing um, to hear everybody saying my name in the stands and have so many <laughs> family and friends just in the crowd and just like looking around and seeing so many people that I knew that were even weren't even on my list. And so the support is overwhelming. It's great. Um, and to do it with nine amazing special girls is even better. Um, I'm just grateful to be here and I'm thankful for the opportunity. Love the coaching staff. And I just thank them every single day for um, giving me another opportunity. Kelsey, you were named Big Ten Tournament Most Outstanding Player. When you hear those words, what does that mean to you? Well, I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't even hear it happen. Uh, it was so much going on. Everybody was smiling, laughing, crying. It was just too much. Um, but when I got, I got the trophy. Um, individually, I guess it's okay. But when you look at the trophy that you take home for your team and your program, that's what matters. Going off that, I mean, undisputed Big Ten champions, regular season and tournament. What does that mean to you? Uh, like I said, it feels good. I don't know when it's going to actually settle in um, on how I actually feel, knowing that we, on a senior year, um, you've been through so much. Um, you saw people go, you saw people leave. Um, Asian went down. I mean, it's just so much that happened. And to do it for all the people, for your culture, for the fans, and more importantly, for the, for the rep <coughs> team that you represent, um, it feels good. It feels really good. Additional questions for the student athletes. Go ahead and center. Uh, Kelsey, by your standards, they kept you relatively quiet that first time in January. Um, yeah. Was there anything different you exploited today? Anything you saw on their on their defensive end that you were able to take advantage of? Uh, not anything specific, but um, I just really stuck to what Coach McGuff uh, told us. Um, I, I bought into the defensive end in regards to knowing personnel and who could do what. Um, in regards to the last match that we had compared to this one, um, I think I matured over the course of time. I think our whole team has. And I think that when stuff got down and everything went the other way, it wasn't on our side. I think we still stay focused and we still stay consistent in our focus. And I think that was part of the reasons why we're here talking about wins now. Uh, Kelsey, you went from one field goal made in the third quarter <laughs> to scoring 12 in the fourth. How'd you flip the switch like that? Um. I can't actually tell you. Um, it's just so many emotions. Um, individually, I just try to, like I said, stay as aggressive as possible. Um, but like I said, buy into what Coach McGuff said in regards to the sets that he had planned for us and um, try to stay with an offense.
Steph, what can you talk about, you know, hopefully getting to the Final Four and having that home court advantage, uh, you know, close to home um, also, and just in Columbus and do it for your teammates. Uh, first year, did you get to be able to play last year um, in the Big Ten tournament or in the regular season? Uh, just we'll, just talk about that a little bit. It's just honestly a true amazing honor. I remember sitting out last year and being kind of disappointed and kind of down because, of course, you want to be out there helping your teammates. And I know that we just were so capable of so much. We had so much talent around. So I knew coming in this time, you know, I didn't really want to feel that same hurt. Even though I wasn't playing last year, it still hurt because we work so hard every single day. And to see my teammates down after working so hard out there, um, it just really hurt. And so um, we didn't really hang our heads too much. We just got back um, grinded. And so it just really means a lot. And kind of to see everything and all the hard work paying off and just to know, like, you know, we're, we don't, we're not finished here. You know, it continues. We have to go back and just buy in. It's a process. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so we have to work hard and execute offensively, defensively, and just play hard, compete, play hard, play smart, play together. Any final questions for the student athletes?